again. So Nakisha either teaching, uh, yeah, a new one word. <laughs> Nakisha either teaching an administrative professional. She has worked in administ uh, administrations and teaching for over 13 years. She's achieved great success as an SEN and EBD specialist. After spending more than nine years in the teaching field, she had a passion for helping people and found and enveloped a unique model for helping individuals get loose from their mental trap. She holds a BA Honours in Family Studies from the University of Birmingham. Her speech is entitled Light at the End of the Tunnel. Stamp those feet for Nakisha, everybody! Yeah. You learn more from failure than you do success. Don't let failure stop you. Failure builds character. Show of hands if you've ever felt broken, if you've ever felt broken by a circumstance in life. Thank you. Jim Quick says, your life can sometimes be like an egg. If an egg is broken from an outside source, life as you know it for that egg has ended. But if the egg is broken from an inside source, life for that egg has begun. Inside force, life for the egg has begun. Just let it go, they say but she could not find a way. She's living with it day by day. The memories won't go away. Medication won't keep it at bay. Her life, she can't survey. Her feelings, she did decay. All greatness begins on the inside. I've always had life comfortable. I've never had the pressure to let me feel what it is, to let me feel what struggle is. I've never had that pressure. This is how my story began. I came to the UK in 2004 and it was blissful, it was lovely. I had a house, I had a car, I had a partner, I had a wonderful job. Things felt effortless, it felt like my comfort zone, it felt like the thing I've always known, I was in heaven. I felt good about myself. I could manifest anything, all my desires were coming through. In 2006, I became pregnant. I lost my job. I lost my house. I lost my partner. I didn't know what to do. I've never felt these feelings before. As I said, I've always lived in a comfort of a place, in a comfort zone. That was a transformational period. I didn't know it at the time. That transformational period was birthing purpose. It was good for me. It was an internal force I was being broken by. I didn't know at the time. I thought about my situation and I sunk deeper and deeper and deeper into depression. I said to myself, I have to get out of this. I have to find the light at the end of the tunnel. I see so much people around me doing it. Somebody has the secret. I went in search of that secret. I found this book, which was called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. 
and it changed my life. My paradigm was shift. I had a new leash on life. I was not looking in the wrong mirror anymore. I decided I will find the light at the end of my tunnel. I realized through reading the book, I was sending emotional poison to myself. I didn't need to be unkind to myself. At the time, I didn't know I was being unkind. I thought the loss of everything was the normal pattern of creating that wave over and over in my head. It came to the place where I was seeing clearer. I know what I wanted. I know how to get there. I know how to stay on that momentum. I've closed that transformational period of my life and I'm really happy I changed the channel. And like Artie said, literally, set your thoughts free. See them falling. And I did. And there's a few things that I would like to give to you of the things that I myself have learnt from the chapter of my life that I've gone through. Every situation in your life, regardless of where you are at, you may be at the stage of anxiety, you may be at the stage of worry, you may be at the stage of depression, you may be at the stage of stress. Wherever you are, let it go. See the good in the situation. Always look for the good and maintain that momentum. My hardship in that moment has taught me that being strong teaches me a lesson. I got the lesson from that. And change can sometimes feel very painful. The more you go through and the more you understand, it makes you more compassionate and understanding. It improves your view of life. It also helps you to force, it helps and force you to have a different approach and to revise them daily. How can I evolve better? How can I be a better me? Rushing to fix the problem can sometimes make things worse. And always develop ways to cope with new emotion. And it makes you look to a higher power, as Deborah said, in God. It helps you to develop patience and grace. And you will soon realize that you will not die, and there is indeed a light at the end of the tunnel. I am grateful every day for that cha transformational chapter. If I had not gone through it, I wouldn't know myself. I wouldn't have found myself. I'm very grateful, and I live with that gratitude every day, and it makes me full of joy. It is very important that we see the light at the end of the tunnel. For me, just like the egg, the internal force that was the transformational chapter in my life helped me to be the person who I am today. I am very smart, I'm very wise, I can be very patient, <laughs> and I tend to be graceful at times. Had I not encountered that, I would have known. Thank you.